Okay, in this video we're going to do this example three here, children in kindergarten, preschool, ages three to five in the US. So here's the, the dates and percentages and we're going to do these uh, five questions. Get the average growth rate, do a couple of interpolations, one extrapolation, and then do a last question really quickly just for fun. Okay, so um, let's begin with this first question, calculate the average growth rate per year from 1990 to 95 in the percentage of children enrolled in kindergarten or preschool age 3 to 5 in the US. Okay, So by all means press pause and try that yourself and then I'll do it. Average growth rate, remember how to do that? Okay, I'll do it now. So we're talking about 1990 to 1995, and you can see that the percentage increased. How much is the increase? So the absolute change or increase was that figure, whatever it is, and then you, well, you know what, then you divide it by 5. So whichever way you want to do it. But in any case, that figure gives us. Um, 2.4, right? <coughs> and then we divide it by the number of years. So this is the absolute change, of course. 2.4 is percentage absolute change from 1990 to 95. Uh, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, um, just to remind you, this is absolute change. Now, and then we'll uh, divide it by the number of years. So it's five years, 1990 to 95 because we're getting divide by five years right because we're getting the the average growth rate or the average change per year so this divided by five is um, zero point put in your calculator four eight so the percentage is increasing by point four eight <coughs> each year as a guess from 1990 to 95 right now we'll use interpolation to estimate the percentage of children enrolled in 1993. By all means press pause and try that yourself and see what you get. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So in 1993, okay, well 1993 falls between 1990 and 95. So we ignore everything else and we just look at these, this data here, right? In 1990, we had 59.4, right? And it's increased, okay? And we already calculated the average growth rate between the years to be 0 0.48. So that's an increase of 0 0.48 each year, right? Sorry. So we got we start with 59.4 in the year um, 1990. And 93 is three years later, so three times the growth rate between these years is 0 0.48. And we just put that in the calculator and calculate that, right? So three times 0 0.48, 1.44. So we have 59.4 plus 1.44. And that gives us an estimate of 60. 0.84 in the year 1993. Okay. Now try this one. Use interpolation to estimate the percentage of children enrolled in 1979. Press pause and do that all by yourself and see if, see what you get. Okay, I'll help you now. Hope you've pressed pause and tried it. That's the best way to learn. Try it yourself. So 1979 falls between 1975 and 1980. So for one thing, and, and it started at 48.6 and it got up to 52.5. So we're starting at 48.6 and um, we've got to get, if we get the average growth rate, that'll help us, right? Average growth rate. So what's the average growth rate between these in these years? How, how much is it going up on average between these two years? The, these uh, in these years. 
Well, we go 52.5 minus 48.6 and divide that by five years, right? So I'll plug that in the calculator. 52.5 minus 48.6 and divide that by five. So we get um, 3.9 divided by 5, that's the absolute change over 5, which would be 0 0.78. So our average growth rate is that. Okay. So 1979 is how many years past 75? Four years, right? So four of these, 4 times 0 0.78, that should give us the answer, right? So we get 48.6 plus and 4 times 0 0.78 is 3.12. So add that to 48.6 and we should get 51.72, right? So that would be our estimate using interpolation. Okay, now press pause and try this one use extrapolation to estimate the percentage of children enrolled in 2004. Press pause and try that yourself. Press pause and try it yourself. So 2004 falls outside of the data set. So in interpolation when we did when we use interpolation it's always some date in between the max and min dates but extra extrapolation means outside so we're doing an estimate that's outside of the the uh, data we have okay so 2004 so in 2000 we have 64.0 right and what data are we going to look at to figure out the average growth rate? We're going to look at the most recent, right? 95 to 2000, right? So we've got to get the average growth rate in the most recent uh, years, basically. So to get the average growth rate, We just take 64.0, subtract 61.8, divided by the number of years. How many years? Five years, right? Calculate that. Press pause and finish this by yourself, by all means. And so that gives us 2.2 .2 over 5, which is 0 0.44, right? So 64.0, and the the average growth rate is positive plus you know 0 0.44, and um, so we're going to add what? How many? This is 2004. How many years after the year 2000 is that? So we're looking at we're starting with okay. It's definitely 64 percent in the year 2000. We're looking at 2004. So we start with what we've got in 2000 and it, we're going to predict it's probably going to keep going up because it's just been going up for the last five years so it's probably going to keep going up. And that's four years later and the average growth rate is 0.44 percent per year uh, most recently and so we get 64.0 plus and multiply that by four and we get 1.76. And so our answer would be 65.76. Okay. Now, just for fun, really quickly, press pause and see if you can estimate the year in which all US kids will be enrolled based on the data. Okay, I'm just just for, for the fun of it, we could kind of think okay we're talking about extrapolation um, basically how many years of increasing by the most recent amount 0 0.44 will it take right well let's see 
In the year 2000, we got 64%. We want that to go to 100, so 100 minus 64 would be um, 36%. And you could use division. You could say how many 0.44s are contained in, we want 36% more kids. Try to figure out how many 0.44s are contained in that. If we calculate that, That gives us um, 81.8, or approximately 82, right? So at the current rate, it seems that our, we need 82 more years for that to happen. So to the year 2000 plus 82 would give us 2082, would be about when uh, all kids will be in kindergarten or preschool. Anyway, but of course, that's is this a clever thing to do? No, it's it's not clever to try to predict, predict something that far in the future. Who knows? Maybe all the kindergarten and preschool will be online or something crazy like that. You never know, right? Or or maybe everyone will just decide not to bring their kids to it at all, or or whatever or there won't be any money for any kindergarten or preschool I mean anything could happen so never predict that far into the future not a good idea you're probably going to be wrong right